Oh, hello everybody. Thank you so much for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. A channel where we share our love for primitive decor, how to make primitive decor, and if you're interested in purchasing, where to go to to get some primitive decor that we make here. I was inspired this past week with my blueberries that are coming out all over the bushes, starting to change to ripen, and it made me think of our blueberry muffin scented candles. So I had to get on the rack and start making some blueberry candles. We made some blueberry muffins. They're called Huckleberry Patch. And I'm going to share with you some of the processes that I did and show you some of the blackened beeswax items that we made too. They're super easy to make. I'll try to remember to tell you how I made the jar candles as we go. You can maybe make a couple of your own. I know the local craft shops, they sell some of the waxes and things to make candles or you can order a candle kit online. Again, thank you for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. If you haven't done so yet and have earned your subscription on my channel, please hit like, share, and subscribe. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find a double boiler or like I have a hot plate here and put your wax on to get warm. Just keep it warm. I kept it as low as possible. You just want to melt your wax just until you get it all melted. You don't want to boil it or make it super hot. Once you get it melted, keep an eye on the temperature. You want to let the temperature drop down to, I usually heat mine to 180 degrees and then I add my fragrance at 150. So you'll add your favorite flavor. Like I said, this one was Huckleberry Patch and we added the, the smell, the scent, oil at, we usually between 130 and 150, we'll add the scent oil. And then we pour when it gets to about 130, 120 into the molds. And here you can see I am just getting the wick ready. I use these little tabs, the sticky tabs. You can also use hot glue. I wrap a straw around the wick part so that it's easy to maneuver down in the drawer and through the jar. I just use the straw and just put it down onto the bottom there and press. That way you have a little bit of um, contact the whole way around your little tab and it just works like a charm. Tug on the wick and make sure it's going to stay and you're getting ready to pour your wax. Now I do have these little metal bow ties that we use to hold the wick up. You really want to try to get the wick into the center of the candle. You want to keep it in the center because you can imagine if your candle is burning and the wick is touching the side of the jar what kind of things can happen. So it's really important that you get, I struggle a little bit here. You can see I, I struggled quite a while with it. For some reason, I'm not good at holding the camera and trying to use one hand. You'll see often in my videos that I'm not good with my one hand, but um, just make sure it gets in the center. That's the main thing. And then um, you'll be good to go. And like I said, you just take your scent oil and you add it to your wax and stir for two minutes. Pour your wax at about 150 degrees into your jars. Let it cool down. I made blackened beeswax. Now it looks a little bit blue here, but it does turn black as time goes on. You wait two weeks to light it. I also decorated my lids with some cinnamon dust on the top of the lid to make them prim. Wrapped some... Um, gauze around and hand dyed it gauze and wrapped it around the jars and tied it with some jute string and they're adorable and they smell really good and they're nice and safe. They've been tested safe and ready to go. We sell them for $12.99 on our website at www.the-cranberry-cornstalk at myshopify.com or thcranberrycornstalk at .etsy.com and here's some black and wax apples we made and I'll just let the video show you all the different 
blacken these wax items that we made along with our candles. And guys, I know it wasn't much of a teaching video this time, but I just had so many candles to make and we're getting ready for the festivals. It's summertime here in Pennsylvania and I just had too much to do to just slow down. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked seeing how we made our candles. Make sure you check us out on the website. And thanks again for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk.